Be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. You can do the same at the Grizzly Gentleman for uh, some fantastic beard products that'll make your beard look and smell great. You can also go to TCG Player using the affiliate link below and shop there to help support the show. And last but absolutely not least, go to GreyVikingGames.com with the link below to get those sweet arena codes. What is up? Planeswalker Sterk 6. Technically back with some Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, this is just midweek magic that I'm playing in the background. So I'm playing five color nonsense that I found online that I'll link to uh, in the description. But today, Friday, uh, this is going to be a video where I talk about some of the uh, Alora Ask 6 stuff. Uh, I talk a little bit about, uh, you know, 2021 in summary. And then I, you know, I, I talk a little bit about uh, my, kind of my goals for 2022. So, um, I guess we're actually going to start off with the, the summary and then my goals, right? So, in summary, I've made a lot of different changes to the channel. Change the change the channel name. By the way, it's probably going to change to something better uh, soon. I changed the... Um, or I, I like to think I improved some, uh, some aspects of the channel in terms of, like, the... The thumbnails and things like that. I, I really do like where they are currently. Uh, I'm st there's still some some tweaks, and I'm trying to get a little bit more creative with it. Uh, tucka tucka tucka. But I think one of one of the things that I really liked about this year was the amount of the amount of D and D I was able to play. Now those weren't on my channel. But it's still something, you know, that was in that was in my life, right? So, I had a ton of fun there. And I'm hoping that with this move, I'll be able to get to a... a oh my goodness. Uh, get to a situation where I can make more interesting content more frequently, right? Uh, and namely, uh, more EDH content. I, I'm really hoping that I can get just, you know, a lot of... A lot of good EDH content going. Um, yeah. But I guess I guess that's kind of it for the review. Obviously, there were a uh, lot of lot of channel downs in terms of uh, analytics and, and metrics and, and whatnot. But that's not I'm not too worried necessarily about that. I'm more I guess excited that I can still grow. And so I guess that takes us to 2021, uh, or 2022. The Mythic or Mistakes, they're not going anywhere. They're staying on this channel. Uh, I've, I, this channel is going to be any of the Magic the Gathering stuff that I want it to be, right? What that means is that I plan on continuing the, uh, the Magic Arena stuff, but I'm going to try to have more consistent, um, more consistent days where I have content that's magic but isn't just arena, right? And a part of that is definitely because, well, uh, arena can get, let's say, annoying sometimes. But also because I, I don't want to be inextricably linked to arena. I'm fine being like linked to Magic Stay the Gathering back. in general good because I don't think I'll ever stop playing Magic. <laughs> bye bye. But I would be lying to you if I said the way that arena was like going that it might be more beneficial to decrease the amount of arena. That said, it's still going to be the vast majority of the channel. Um, I might, I might try Moto, but that's that's going to be like some background ish for a while while I get things in it. Cause like I'm not going to pay for Moto. Like I, there's the like I have a Moto account. I think I upgraded it. I don't remember if that's like a one time thing or not. I I, I just don't remember. Um, it's just... Moto, I, I believe, is, like, being, like, taken over by, like, another company. Like, it's going to be worked on by someone else. So, 
you know, there's there's goodness there, right? There is some hope for Moto to be a little bit more user friendly, uh, and then maybe I'll have that like once a week. But uh, I'm really hoping that uh, I'll be even more consistent with, okay, even more consistent with um, my my like daily schedule right i'm hoping that saturdays and sundays are always going to be uh twitch streaming i'm hoping that wednesdays are always going to be youtube streams with the first like half being uh bolus and then the second half being whatever magic or maybe even not magic thing that i want um and then of course there's Thursdays for Mythic or Mistake. I'm hoping that I can get to a point where I'm putting out EDH videos like honestly I'd prefer weekly. I don't know how feasible that is. They're they're I not gonna be edited for a long King time at the very least. But there's a possibility that they could. Um and I I will probably get to a point where um where i am including like patrons twitch subs youtube uh members things like that so i i have some plans there hopefully ones that are you know, kind of good enough essentially um I don't know. I don't know what to do with uh, Oko here. I think I'm gonna let him die. I'm gonna turn this into a three-three. So I can I at least eat you one of them. To change your ways. Um. So that'd be Mondays. Tuesdays and Fridays, I guess, would kind of be the, the arena freeform. Um, a lot of it likely would be, um, you know, death and taxes here and there, uh, chromatic black, but the rest I think would just kind of be freeform and uh, essentially kind of just like any, any Tom, Dick, or Jane. Yeah, well. I was going to do something stupid. But my opponent said no. So th those are the hopes. I'm also hoping in 2022 to get a new intro. So right now, my intro still says Theric 6, and it's like the... Which I love. Absolutely fantastic. But I think that I had a cooler idea that actually uses my, my six characters... My, my little my little dudes uh, or not my characters but my six character um, in a really awesome way like I, I have it in my mind I just have to find someone who uh, is able to do that right so I'm gonna get a commission there um, I'm going to try to make the promo section tighter and just generally better I think the the promo section for me could use a bit of work I care. But it's... It's generally fine, yeah. Yeah, so that, I mean, there are some, some areas that I'm looking forward to improving, and there's some that I think are, are kind of fine for right now. But... I suppose that's it. I guess... My goal... in 2021... Excuse me. Is to get back to a point where I have what was that? Fifteen. Gosh, I think I'm back down to thirteen now. So yeah, where I have fifteen thousand subs on um on YouTube, and let's say ten consistent subs on Twitch. I think I think that's a reasonable goal. For 2022 that also allows me to have you know a little bit of um i mean no no 
No, we're we're being chilling here. Allows for growth, right? You know, if I get to that point, like halfway through the year, I can adjust accordingly. Uh, yeah, they all have death touch. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Okay. So I believe that leads us then into the Alara questions. Goodness, I hid, I hid Discord like a dum dum. Magusta. What planeswalker do you think what planeswalkers do you think do drugs? And what do you think their drug of choice would be? I think I feel like I've done this before. So I'm just gonna do like a speed round. Ahaha, <laughs> get it speed. Um I think that Tybalt would use spice. I think that Will is the type to do like I definitely thought I passed. Uh, Adderall. And Rowan is the type to do, like, E. Or, or Molly for you kids. Scary. Big whammies, big whammies, no stop. Hey, wizards, uh, fix your game, please. Interesting walkers. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Angrath. Angrath just like smokes weed at home with his kids. For sure, dude. Like that's that's why I was so mad on uh on um dinosaur planet. It's just because he didn't have access to his uh to his plant, so he was just angry all the time. Just like I'm trying to chill out with my daughters, and I get sent to this stupid place, and I've been here without my sheesh. Oh, Bolus is that pretend drug from uh, Unlimited or, or something like that. The the fake drug that unlocks all your potential. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with those. Like, I don't care what's in my hand. I keep it. Do I look like I care? I shouldn't. Um, <laughs> Sir, Mr. Grammar, Man, Dude, Guy, Male. If offered the choice between becoming a Planeswalker or finally balancing the color pie, which would you choose? That is not remotely a question in my eyes. Bal no, I'm kidding. I become a planeswalker. Are you kidding me? Are you telling me I would be able to, tra to traverse actual worlds? I assume that comes with the ability to do magic of some kind. It'd be kind of BS otherwise. But yeah, I fucking be a planeswalker. Are you kidding me? Even if even if I just like go and learn from Teo, I was gonna say or Gideon, but then um. And I remember Gideon being around anymore. 
I don't have a red source. I can do that. Uh, yeah, like, even if it's just shielding, so, like, I can't hurt anybody, but I, like, don't freaking die to nonsense that I would, I would find. Yeah, absolutely. I would just be... Uh, is fine. I will discard. Eugene. No. Bolus. Yeah, yeah, I think that's I think that's what I would do. I'm so stupid. Balatar asks, if you were trapped on Ixlon with a single planeswalker of your choosing, who would it be and why? Um... I know what I'm trying to figure out what planeswalker would be... Okay, so there's, there's, there's like, different choices, right? There's the waifu choice, there's the planeswalker who would be the most uh, likely to help you survive, the most planeswalker that'd be the most likely to help you leave, and then, of course... The planeswalker that you just have fun with on Ixalan. I think that oh, that's, uh... the, the planeswalker, the, the waifu choice. I know a lot of people want to say Vraska. Also kind of just want to say Vraska because I think it's relatively simple. I feel like I would just choose like Elspeth. <laughs> I'm basic. I don't know. Kaya. Kaya is also cool. Um, then for the choice. Oh, that's just rude. Then for the choice of planeswalker most likely to help me survive. Really should have seen that cup. Probably Garrick. I mean, he. I, even though I dislike Garrick, I think Garrick has the most, um, the most experience, right? Being. Yeah, it's fine. Being um, like a woodsman, essentially. Oh my goodness me! Oh my goodness me! I still got the triggers, hell yeah. Juice me. Squeeze me. Freeze me. There we go. <laughs> now we're just gonna grab uh, this.
Shiki. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Shiki. That's rude. Is offline. I might have too many friends on here. Gotta start cutting them. Uh, well, just gonna play this. I did that wrong. I could have played Elko as well. I had to play Chandra first, then uh, use the Chandra mana to play uh, Bugen, and then play Elko. But I'm dumb. In terms of the one that could help me leave, that's that's got to be Bugen. I mean, he was the one who put the Immortal Sun there in the first place, if I recall correctly, so... Ha, you puny creatures. You're nothing... Chandra's just like, stop! That's not nice. Uh, let's stone this. Alright, cool. In terms of ones that would just be fun to chill with. Like, I like to think I'm smart, but I think Jace might be too smart for me. Ashok would be a D-bag, because I don't have, like, nightmares, generally speaking. So I feel like Ashok would just be doing nothing other than trying to figure out what I'm actually, like, afraid of in my sleep. Oko, he would just constantly be hiding coconuts from me, and I'd be very annoyed. This hand's terrible, but I'm gonna keep it, because I don't care about what's happening in the game. Man. Who would I just want to chill with? Uh, not Angrath. Tamio. Well, I was gonna say not Angrath, because he has he has kids that he is going to be very mad at me for. Um, having him, you know, not be around. But Tamio also has that, but, like, she's smart, but I, I feel like she's not Jace smart, you know? And then, like, um, she has, like, a ton of tails and stuff. I, th I think Tamio would be the most enjoyable to hang out with. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Tamiel. So, so it's Elspeth, most likely, um, Garrick, Ugin, Tamiel. I'm not scared. I'm not afraid of no ghosts. Can't counter spell me! Is this. Is this. Rogues. I have to discard card crap. Goodbye, Shelter. I just do like this and this. Or I guess this and this more likely. Of course, they do nothing. In which case, I... Well, it seems to me like they have counterspell mana. Or they, they have something that they can cast instant speed. Crab. That's just wood.
I don't trust the game that I'm holding for control. That's fine. Bye, Luke Tree. Thank you for dying. Oh no, I milled a couple. There's like very little reason to do that. I'm not in the city. You know what? I know. Josie Hall says, uh, <laughs> no. Up the pace. Do I agree that Mel? Oh my god. Well. Oh wow, I can actually put off. Disgusting. Sorry, I'm late. Here we go. Letting me do this. No, I am not making this up as I go. We need to move quickly. Do you agree that evil should sometimes triumph in magic story? Are you happy with the state of story being main villain is scary powerful at the beginning? Something bad happens for them. The good guys win, as it has been practically since World of Spark. I mean, for what it's worth, World of Spark isn't, um... Isn't all that far away. Oh my god. That was the disgusting top deck. I feel absolutely zero sim sympathy for my part. I would have to call a bad man. That's more like it. Oh, that. Are you kidding me? I think I can also just play. What? Did I mill my zombie field? Well, I guess I've milled my zombie field. Yep. Just activate this now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. this I know this is gonna get destroyed but like I can only cast it this turn anyway so it's my it's gonna turn. hit my opponent yep you're going down that's stupid I think that oath of the gate watch and 
Oh no, that's Battle for Zendikar and then and then Oath of the Gatewatch. I think that block was disappointing. As someone who really likes the Eldrazi, seeing them lose to young planeswalkers, right? If it was if it was freaking Bolas or or Ugin was actually a part of the the situation, I don't think I would have had as many problems. But the fact that Liliana Lili, no, Liliana wasn't even there for the forming. No, yeah, I I, I think that um, it's bad. Uh, I I legitimately just don't like what happened with Oath of the Gatewatch. I I don't like that there were young planeswalkers. Uh, yeah, I mean it, that's that's about it, you know. Um, other than that. Other than that, um, we had Innistrad, which the heroes didn't technically win, right? They, Emrakul is in the moon, whether it's of her entire own volition or not, technically speaking, is, uh, st still remains to be seen. Oh, that's rude. How could they mill me like that? I don't like that Bolas lost, but I respect that he did, thanks in large part to the sheer number of planeswalkers that he was dealing with, the betrayal that he did not see coming, um, because in his, in his mind, Liliana is just as selfish as he is, right? Um, in his mind, she would never sacrifice herself for anybody, right? Um, Gonna have a lot of mana with this first. Uh, but Ugin like was also like sneakily helping in that situation, so I guess I'm fine with war as well. I I do want to see a situation where the heroes just lose though. Like it could have also just been on Innistrad, right? Where no, the heroes do lose, right? Um it stays Eternal Night and it it messes things up, right? The next time we go to Innistrad, there are essentially no humans. And our perspective is the the monsters are now are now in a bad place because of the fact that they were being a little stupid. You know, because of because they were um they no longer have stuff to feed on. Right? The werewolves are like in the forest and don't really know what to do. I think if I do this We'll have one left over. White, blue, black, red, green. So that should be enough. I would like to take action. I grab this. I can't cast that. It produces that mana. I'm stupid. Everything's better. I, I I would like to see bad guys win on a multiverse scale, right? Like bad guys winning on Akoria, who cares? There's like no implications for anything else, right? Um, bad guys winning on New Capenna or even Neon Dynasty, it seems like probably not going to matter. So, do you like this? Is from Aetherworks Marvel. Do you like tomatoes with or without fluids seasoning? I don't like tomatoes. I find them to be gross. Hilariously, love ketchup. Tomato soup is fine. Tomatoes? Nope. Born into Esper, for some reason, what is, what is the longest word name you can fluently pronounce? I, I, I tried to think, like go through the catalog of my mind. To figure out the answer to that question. And I don't freaking know. Nihak, uh, 
I mean, deoxyribonucleic acid is like the one that just comes to mind. Uh, there's also like the nihil. I, it, it doesn't count, right? Because I freaking don't know. It is like nihil pill. Freaking no! Holy what? The also, name? I don't freaking know names, dude. I live in the states where freaking names are generally boring. I said generally because obviously there are names like mine, which aren't, which aren't Harness not boring. I probably did some nonsense that I don't care about. Um, I'm just gonna activate this. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna cast this. I'm gonna take this. Uh, that's all the questions, by the way. Uh, we're just going to play this as well. Uh, we're just gonna bolt Sorry, the lands. Because I find it amusing, frankly. Um, then we're gonna activate Golos again, because I can. Let's go ahead and play this untapped, because, again, I can. This Paradise Tree is pretty free. Well, let's go ahead and draw a card. No time for a break. Cool. You know what? I think it'd be pretty cool if I untapped one of my lands. Let's untap this land. What's that? I can activate Golos again. They never even stood chance. <laughs> I was just gonna take an extra turn, dude! <laughs> Alright, well, that's all the questions. I, I don't know when my next upload will be because I am in the process of moving. I have a second channel, Six and Stuff, that will have um, nine episodes of um, Stone Shard Season 5 on it. Please go check out my second channel, Six and, uh, Six and Stuff. It's down in the description. Let's go ahead and just grab these real quick. And then we'll be off. game did not appreciate that I skipped its stupid animation. Man, wouldn't it be crazy if you could just, like, turn animations off? Like, could you imagine if I could just, like, click the pack and it just shows me the cards? I don't have to click the rare. It just shows me the cards. And then when I click again, it doesn't, it just, it just, they just vanish. Wouldn't that be cool if I had an option to do that? Aren't options fun? Anyway, thanks, patrons, for the continued support. If you've enjoyed this and you'd like to support me, links in the description. If you enjoyed this and you are unable or do not want to financially support, like, comment, subscribe. That stuff really helps in the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, I will be one.